in the uh, common people that motivated me to opt for the service. But you think that through livestock also, yeah. you can motivate yeah, you can people do more, but uh, they to have like their own income source and uh, they think you are wasting your technical qualification actually because you need lot of doctors actually you even in animal husbandry yes, still we most of animal husbandry in Odisha and you have a lot of contribution to make in terms of cattle health and other, other, no doubt other pet animals and so you have to make other most contribution in that field as a generalist you can do things no problem but as a veterinary surgeon having the technical reason behind you do better for the society. Yes, sir. What I, what I do think, sir, what I do feel in serving in those areas, I am getting confined to a particular uh, domain of the of the governance administration system. So, when my, uh, when, uh, most of my friends, the, those are in OS, OS officers, they are doing very good jobs in there. And they have a wider aspects in terms of career avenues as, as well as uh, they can uh, be a part of many departments in future also. So it's a, it's give me a wider scope to serve for the con. No. Mm -hmm. As regards uh, career promotion, I don't think it's much. Uh, you are also going to be say the same like of additional secretary. I am sure. Once you become CDU, it may be of additional secretary like uh, CDU, chief district veterinary uh, officer. So in terms of career, uh, it's not that uh, differentiate between which and you are uh, a visitor surgeon, but yes, in terms of variety, yes, yes. those people may get it uh, in a little bit, serving will be more, yes. but uh, still, uh, being a technical qualified person, uh, it should not be better that you should stay there, like doctors actually. You no know, doctors are actually uh, coming to Odisha uh, Advanced Service, there are a few. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. In terms of entry level, they're the same actually. Sir, previously it was Group B and recently, two years back, it was already. Yes, I know it's there. That's what I'm saying. Now, at the entry point, it was junior class one. Okay, like you are a veterinary background. What is that like natural breed of Sundargad? Like an animal in terms of this chicken and goat? Sir, most of the natural indigenous breed, better to say. Mm -hmm. Those are sir, cattles like uh, sir, indigenous cattle. They have no, uh, there is no any recognized breed actually in Sundarwar, according to the NBHG, National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources. And uh, coming to the goats, uh, these are the black Bengal goats generally. They predominantly from Sundarwar. There was a institute like uh, chicken breeding and cattle breeding institute, uh, chicken and uh, goat breeding institute in Sundarwar. Do you have any idea you have? Sir, there is no goat breeding institute, that is cattle breeding institute, bull mother breeding institute, which are in Kuarmun Develop of the Sundarbha district. There was the institute for goat and chicken breeding, where the medical college is there right now. At Trangadi Pa. What are the chicken breeds we have in Odisha? Sir, in Odisha we have Hansli. And we have uh, the indigenous variety of uh, Kadaknath and Kalinga Brown. Kalinga Brown is not more uh, predominantly found, it is mainly Hansley. Uh, uh, are you compatible with Kadaknath actually? It belongs to the central India, it is yes, limited sir. to Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh region, sir. So now has it come to Odisha actually? Yes, sir. Uh, most of the, and many, uh, the very urban regions of the raw killer, the, the farmers they are going for the rearing of the Kadaknath as it has some medicinal properties. How many breeding centers are there in Odisha? Sir. Like uh, for chicken? Sir, chicken there is a no government, actually no government breeding centers are there, only private organizations they are playing. No government, sir. We have one central government here. Yes, sir, only for central government there is Kari Institute, Central Avian Research Institute. So there is no, that is not... No, there is uh, only, there is the institute, that is for only chicken.
chicken breeding. Chicken breeding means the egg which can breed the. No sir, that is the process known as hatching and incubation hatching. Hmm. That is not breeding. That is the breeding center, no? Breeding center is only in OUT, sir. You have that in Odisha, no? Yes, sir. In Odisha, sir. There is a central government institute and we have office, I think, near Nayapalli, no? Ah, sir, that is CDPO. CDPO, CDPO. CDPO. They have a center in Atomundli. I have personally visited. Sir. And similar line, in Sundargarh district also, there is a chicken and uh, goat breeding center. Now it is getting constructed. From uh, this district mineral. Uh, DMF phone, sir. Uh, who is your CDPO now? Dr. Bosan Kumar Okay, earlier finisher was there. Okay, yes, retired. Okay. You are from which district? Sir, I am from Devagar district, sir. Devagar. So, what is the, like, uh, you tell the five significant point about Devagar district? Sir, my Devagar district was a part of Arshwal Bamanda Princely estate. And it was bifurcated from the astral, the undivided Samanpur uh, in the year 1994, first January 1994. Then it has three uh, blocks, namely uh, Barkwood, Riyamal, and the Devagar, in one municipality that is Devagar. It has a, a beautiful tourism point that is Pradhan Pad waterfall, and that has been listed in the OTDC also. And coming to the population, the demographic pattern of a district, 10 lakhs populations are there, and where 5 lakhs for each, around 5 lakhs for each male and female population. So coming to the literacy rate, it is around 74 percent. And coming to the uh, ST population, it is coming to 30, nearly 30 percent of the entire population. What is the NH passing through? The NH 26. 26. Any river? Uh, sir, a river, the Brahmani, that is coming from the Raurpila, that is passing through. Can you tell something about the river, river system in Odisha? So most, sir, the drainage system or river system in Odisha, they are mostly, uh, uh, some rivers are there from, those are originating from outside the Odisha and some are from the inside the Odisha. Like outside Odisha, that is the uh, Subhanarekha, the Mahanadi, these are from outside Odisha. And from inside, the origin is in, uh, inside Odisha and they are getting drainage to the Vega Bengal, like the uh, Brahmani, no sir, the Brahmani. Uh, yeah, Brahmani is also a Sank coil, coil sir. Uh, sir Bra one. Brahmani and Suvarnaka both. Both sir, outside the Odisha, like, the Baitarani river and the, uh, these rivers are some. Brahmani is also coming from outside. And Gonasika Hills. Gonasika Hills. 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 What, what was your optimal sociology and animal? Uh, can you tell us a uh, dominant caste? Concept of dominant caste. Dominant caste considered first given the Louis Dumont. And uh, dominant caste means in caste hierarchy, uh, the uh, the few uh, the so smaller segment of the society those dominate the entire caste hierarchy. And in terms of politically, in terms of ritually, they are some dominant classes. Uh, basically, we are talking of, uh, in terms of economics. Uh, also, they are in population actually. Sometimes. Reality happens that a smaller size a community of smaller size or a caste of common size they rarely exercise that power. But when a caste, uh, not only uh, uh, substantial in number but also dominant in economics and other yeah. spheres of activity, they naturally dominate the society. Where it is prevalent now? Dominant consciousness is now in uh, Uttar Pradesh and some in Uttar Pradesh and in Kerala also Nairs. In Odisha, sir, there is no dominant caste, I think. And so dominant caste. Okay, what is your name? Kalas. Sir. Kalas, what is the esteem need for you? You know the esteem need? I can't get your point, sir. Esteem, self-esteem. Ah, self-esteem, sir. This is all about... What is the self-esteem need for you? I'm not asking the definition. I'm asking what is the, what is the meaning of self-esteem for you? Sir, so, uh, to be honest and to be uh, self-esteem. Yes, sir. What do you want from your life? Means from others, self-esteem. What do you want to achieve in your life? Self-esteem. I have to make my life meaningful in terms of serving others. That's that is self-esteem. Only one thing. 
Yes, sir, that's one thing, sir. Okay, now tell me, why will you be selective in civil services? What are the qualities you have which is different from others? Yes, sir. So during my service in the uh, remote areas, I have gained expertise in, uh, in doing collaborative activities like other departments, like PR departments, like OPLP departments, and DMA, like in OMBADC departments. So I have seen, uh, I can have that ability to cater the uh, benefits of that uh, schemes to the grassroots of the people. And I have seen videos in the cellars, they are also doing very well in my areas. So, I have seen or I have felt that I can do also that sort of activities that and I have. the difference between DMF and Ombudsman? Sir, Sir Ombudsman means also Mineral Bearing Area Development Corporations. And here it is uh, a project that is, it is confined to the mineral rich areas. And uh, it, is a, it is a directive of the, or it is a vision or it is a part of the government. And what DMF is a directive of the Supreme Court that you should that it has directive like you should do something socio-economic development projects in the uh, mineral affected areas and uh, so this what is the funding source for both sir for uh, sir for dmf the royalties those are uh, the royalties those are receiving by the, uh, the parties they give at least uh, i think maximum 25 percent of their royalties to the overall development of that which, uh, of the mineral affected regions. And what about Ombats? Where fund comes? Sir, Ombats fund also comes from that uh, right. reality. Then why there is two? Uh, what is the, uh, how, like from one source both uh, are getting funds, you are telling? Yes, sir. Like, like that? Sir, Ombats uh, has the nodal agency, sir, to, that is, I think, the state government and the DMF has the the trust, the chairman will trust the DM. Fine, I am just asking, where the fund comes from? To both the DMF and uh, Ombudsman. You are telling only from state royalty, royalty is coming to the both the things. Sir, uh, particular to the Ombudsman, I am not able to worry with exact source of I think Ombudsman, like uh, some penalties are being imposed. Sir. That fund goes to Ombudsman. And DMF is royalty, it goes to directly to DMF. DMF. Okay. Tell me, you have written writing short stories, short ODA stories. Sir. Tell me what the last short ODA story you have written. Sir, in seven days back I have written in a local ODA newspaper, Sundarwad. Okay. Just tell me the crux of that story in two, four lines. Sir, it is actually chronology. Uh, there is a, the, the love story uh, that is going between a boy and girl and their struggle in a university life. So, uh, like uh, uh, they are struggling to convince their parents at the, uh, during their uh, academics and when they are selected in OPSC uh, and they are meeting their parents each other to convince their parents what, they, what, what both, uh, both the parents are there disagreeing. So, uh, it, is a, it, is a, it is a continuous process, it is a continual part. So, I have, Stop there. Actually, I could not get anything from your experience in summary. Can you tell it in Odia? Sir, exactly, sir. I have a story that I have been starting for 3 years. I have been doing a lot of work. 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 तो ऑफिसी सिलेक्ट हल्ला पड़े से माने कुछ कॉन्वेक्शन्स जो लक्ष्य अभिमान को तो पेरेंट्स को डाकी चंदी पूरा बापा पूरा डाला बहुत गरीब वगैरह पूरा जीवन डाला बहुत रिच फैमिली रहो से तो बहुत तब बीबी तंगर बहुत पार्थिव तंगर सामान जो सोशल इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस रहता तंगर रोग जी तो जीर बापा सही जाकर पूरा बाप में वो तो अपने डेज़ जन्दे तो ब्याह कर देना सर सही जाकर वो स्टोरी को रखें तो नेक्स्ट पार्ट को पुनीत सर ओके यू सपोर्ट लॉन्ग मैरिज और आर्मी मैरिज सर बहुत था बहुत प्रोजेक्ट कौन सा सो इन योर लाइफ व्हाट यू सर यू आर मैरिड नो नो सर आई वन मैरिड सर Sir, both have frozen concerns. Uh, the law marriage has its 
on problems and opportunities in the arranged marriage. Okay. Because we are giving value to the family. Okay, tell me, what is your stand on Russia and Ukraine war? Which country will support? As an individual. Sir, first of all, I don't like war because it is it uh, affects the harmony, peace of the entire global uh, system. And being a person, I would like to support the Russia because uh, in past time Russia has helped us a lot in in terms of crisis in when we are deficient in food, oh, okay. fertilizers. Which country you support as an individual? To Russia, sir. Russia. Yes. Why? Because in in our crisis period, Russia has helped helped a lot to us. That is the blunder you are making. I am asking <laughs> to choose the country as an individual, not as not as an Indian. You are becoming selfish as an Indian, but as an individual, you have to judge in a neutral perspective. It's sentimental. <laughs> they help to solve. No, in the international politics, nobody is helping. Uh, uh, nobody is permanent friend, uh, permanent enemy. Nobody is helping. Nobody actually. They are, they are actually serving their own interest. All sir. Okay, sir. I have to uh, give you. Okay, I think you are introduce over because uh, we have many people to take the interview. The basic thing, I have to say that. Plus, you are a well uh, educated, educated person. Sir. Okay. So there is no denial of that. Sir. But the thing is that your answer is not reflecting. Sir. You might be knowing everything, but your answer is not reflecting. Sir. I think you are you are an introvert person. Sir. Okay. Try to open up. Try to speak all these uh, all the. Ideas you have, you have in your mind sir. in four five lines in concrete in concise way four five lines you say sir. with logic and explanation sir. four five lines not more than that yes, sir. you please say please try to open up being an introvert will not help you there sir, sir. Yes, sir. The, the demand of the interview is that to know you to know sir, you sir. so you have to speak up when is your interview on nineteenth sir okay you have time some time sir you have four five to five six days time. You go and try to speak. You you just frame frame the answer, and then you speak. And certainly, your place is going to grill you. Mm -hmm. And why you are leaving this job and joining our satellite service? Sir, sir. Okay. So you may be knowing you may be knowing the things, but you are not coming to the point directly. First thing. Second thing that you are not putting all his answer in a very uh, lucid manner. Four five lines. If you are saying important points in four five lines, summarizing everything, then that's enough. Okay. As we not first thing, the first uh, problem I found in you that you are not opening up. Sir. You are very conserved. So I found you didn't like it. Uh, actually, Mr. Laguji, you have lot of potential. You know many things you can deliver much, much, much sir, better. Sir, sir. But it is not coming out. So again, I think you should write like uh, since you have literature, sir. you are telling writing stories from Fakir Monsera but to Pratibha Rai. Maybe present generation uh, some writers. Current trains, okay. So all these things you have to prepare very well. So I see interview here. So even we are sitting, we have not come prepared. The question will ask. Sir. From your answer, the no next question comes. Sir. Okay. Yes, whatever sir. you tell, next question comes from your answer. Yes, so what you should do? So what you should do? You go there and concentrate and prepare well. Okay. Right. Question answer also you can write. Yes. Okay. If time permits, you can always come back. Sir, okay. yes, sir. And, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, 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 and